Hello everyone, how are you all? Today we will discuss and we will try to know uh, about the four parameters of diamond and uh, before purchasing what parameter should be taken care uh, before purchasing the diamond. Basically the diamonds are uh, of best quality from GIA certifications. Uh, GIA is Gemological uh, Institute of America. GIA, this kind of certificate they provide. This is a booklet kind of certificate. Uh, in this certification, they have mentioned each and every uh, parameter and their specification of the diamond. So diamond, in diamond you have to see four C's, like C for cat. Four, four C's, the first C is color, then uh, clarity, then cut, and fourth is carat size. So for example, this diamond which I am wearing is a GIA diamond and GIA this is its certificate so first is color color you have to be careful about because the more brighter and colorless the more uh, the better the quality so this for example is uh, ha this diamond has eye color eye color comes in near colorless so this uh, and the bad quality uh, of diamonds are yellowish and brownish and grayish in color so you have to take care of the color uh, the first aspect so and the color color uh, colors of diamonds are like measured in terms of alphabets like it starts from d d e f is colorless g h i j is near colorless k l m is faint and n o p q r r very light and s t u v w x y z are light so colorless are better so the more towards d it starts from D. D is the highest quality and Z is the lowest quality. So this one falls in I. So it's a good quality diamond, you can say. Then the second uh, thing which you should see is uh, the clarity. And cl how clarity is measured? Clarity is usually measured uh, with the code VVS. You must have heard VS, VVS and I. So let me explain it. The best quality diamonds are flawless. You must have heard that flawless diamond. So these are very rare and very expensive. And this diamond, we can, for example, we can study is VS1. This is VS1 clarity. What is VS1? VS stands for very small one. So it is included. It has one very small inclusion. Inclusion means a very small kind of spot or maybe a feather feathers and spots are considered as inclusions so in stones you must have heard or you if you have not heard let me tell you in uh, you can say faults or in the diamonds are called inclusions so these inclusions uh, these are, are measured as vs1 this is vs1 means very small one inclusion so flawless has no inclusions internally flawless is the second uh, quality then comes VVS1 means very very small one then comes VVS2 very very small two then come VS1 VS1 is very small one which is this one then comes VS2 very small two inclusions then come SI1 means small inclusion one then comes SI2 means small inclusion two two in small inclusions then I1 means uh, this one means included I, single I means included so this also comes in I1, I2, I3 so flawless then internally flawless then VVS1 and the least one is I3 so this one falls in VS1 very small one so this is again you can say more towards the good quality then comes cut so in diamonds there are many cuts like for example you can say uh, a pear shape cut like a cushion cut and round these are the cuts basically so this one uh, the cut of this is also uh, it's a round basically a symmetrical cut so in this certification you can get all the all the details and it's a round brilliant basically in cut also cut scale we measure from excellent to poor so this one falls in uh, excellent basically symmetry then comes carat weight. Carat weight of the of diamonds you can measure in carats. Usually stones are measured in carats. So this one falls in half carat. Like it's 
uh, 0.45 carat it's nearly half carat diamond so you can see uh, the four aspects of diamonds like before purchasing the diamond you have to see four C's like color clarity cut and carat weight these are four C's which you have to consider before purchasing the diamond or any other uh, like precious gemstone and uh, they these four things decides the pricing of the diamond and also the quality of the diamond for for example this this is a GIA certified uh, certification basically it comes in this kind of booklet and in this certification they mention about your stones specification which have uh, which I have discussed four C's all are mentioned here and the speciality of this diamond is that this the griddle the griddle this is griddle actually this edge is a griddle griddle the edge of the uh, diamond uh, it has 10 digit code inscripted on it with laser this technology is only owned by GIA Gemological Institute of America and the speciality of this diamond is that on the edge of the diamond there are 10 digits code which is inscripted by laser which I have um, which myself I saw in the scope microscope which the jeweler showed to me and really there are 10 digits which are mentioned here this is the 10 digit uh, code which is mentioned here I saw it myself uh, on the edge of the diamond very very small very very small and precisely in, uh, inscribed on it so these are the basically the things and the best quality of diamonds are again from USA it also comes from Brazil uh, diamonds are also like mined uh, from Brazil they are and one more thing I want to mention diamonds are also colored yes in color scale which we which I have explained the diamonds can be yellowish or brownish but but the, there are some special kind of diamonds which comes in red color in yellow color yellow gold color then pink diamonds and black diamond also so there are other colors of diamonds also available and they are uh, more expensive than these ones so this is all which I wanted to explain today uh, in this uh, video I hope this information which I collected uh, which I collected over uh, over a lot of time over uh, and in a lot of months and I studied and then I got all the details so I wanted to share with you also so that it can help you to get some information before uh, buying or even if you're not buying you must have the information about the stones uh, if somebody asks you you can explain you can tell that these are the things which one should consider before purchasing the diamond these are basically the four C's which should be considered so thank you have a good day bye